Hello out there all my alloids, I'm Fixing Alloy 1 here. Welcome back to another episode of Stranded Raft. Now I'm doing Stranded Raft because Stranded Deep isn't working right now. I did opt in for the experimental build because I want to see all the new stuff. I thought it'd be nice because we've done mostly everything you can do so far in the game to show off the stuff for the experimental build. The stuff that will be in future regular build updates. But uh, being as it just started the experimental build, it's not working right. It's a little bit glitchy. It kept like glitching and uh, ending my recording and I didn't want to put together like 80 million little bits. I'm already doing that with the trailer. So, I figured we'll probably do that Friday if there's not a 7 days to die. Because today's, Monday's used to date updates. Monday and Tuesday is about the day they usually do their updates. So, they should have something fixed for that soon. Now, I've been doing some stuff off camera. As you guys can see, we're a little bit more organized in here. We got our little food chest with food in it. All our useless shit we don't need. Our task items. See, we got the puffer fish now. And our stain clay and our music discs. There's 16 stain clays, I think. And I got five of them. And I got more staining, I'm at more hardened clay cooking. So, and then if we come over here, I'm going to count this as our island extension right here. This is a lot of sand. A lot of sand. So I'm, we're gonna count this as island expansion. Because we're gonna build a dock off of this. So challenge 20 is now complete. Alright. Now if we come over here. Because I did go to an island. Before I start recording. We have potatoes. And pumpkins. Two rows of pumpkins. Two rows of potatoes. So. Let's go ahead and you know, knock out those challenge lists. And then I figure we'll go to another island. And see if maybe we can find some more iron. Maybe we can get the anvil made or something. So we got potato and pumpkin so now we can get everything shrunk up we got a little bit more inventory space now and one of the reasons I even I could probably I could just make a chest and put all these tasks in the chest but I want to keep them on me for two reasons one it makes it easier to tell what task we still have left and two uh, just like stranded wrap deep we don't have much inventory space as long as I keep these I don't have a lot of inventory space make it really brings the kind of the authentication in of the map look at Steve over here Oh, uh, get down, get down, get down. But, uh, and I know one thing a lot of people want to see in Stranded Deep, especially me, myself, is the ability to maybe craft something that would increase your inventory space. Maybe you can craft chests, or like maybe you can make like a little knack sack or something. I don't know. So, I don't know. That's my way of doing something I wanted to see in the game. So, this time, anyway, we're going to go this way. We're just going to go straight out. I'm pretty sure we've been to an island over this way, but I went that way earlier and somehow ended up over there. So we're going to go this way this time. But before we go, I want to check my coordinates. I didn't do that last time I left, so I was a little nervous. Uh, um, I don't think our coordinates are being displayed. I don't see our coordinates anywhere up there, so that makes it a bit difficult. But that would go along with the... Uh, you know, that whole out stuck in the middle of the ocean, stranded, no help. If you could just plot your coordinates, it'd be a little bit easier to get home, I'm sure. Hmm, feel like we should have encountered an island or something by now. That's the farthest trip we've went so far in this game for an island. Maybe there's nothing out this way. Or maybe all the good stuff's out this way. That's why it's taking so long. I'm actually going to turn up my chunk distance. Make it so we can see a little bit more. We'll bring it up to 10 chunks. I don't want to go much higher than 10 because that's really going to cause some lag there. I'll give it a second to catch up. See if we can see any shipwrecks or anything out here. There's a little island over there. Is it worth checking out though? I did find one really, really, really tiny island. So. This looks like it's gonna be another really, really tiny island. Guess it won't hurt to. Okay, I thought my boat broke for a second. Take a look around. Looks like there might be an island over there. Have we been to there yet? Well, I guess it is. It just might be an island. It is an island. But have we been there yet? That's the question. You gotta give it to the map creator on this one. This guy took some time. 
map creator definitely took his time making this map because it's not like it's just some island you know one of those uh survival island seeds everyone puts in this is he actually built this there's like layers of sand where i don't know how if i'm i'm pretty sure he just found a sea with nothing but water and built from there but anyway let's go back to where we were originally at in our little journey and we'll head out that way <laughs> We got three more tasks complete, so I'm feeling pretty good. That looks a little bit interesting right there. Is that a glitch or something? Or is there something down there? I guess it was just a glitch. It's not rendering in. A whole lot of nothing out here, isn't there? I actually feel like maybe I should turn back down my chunk distance because I'm really jerky. Oh no, I don't want super secret settings. Don't click that. Turn it down to eight. I think I actually clicked it. Yeah, I clicked the super secret settings. Damn it. Nope, we don't want achievements. Options. Super secret. I hope that was just because I was turning off super secret settings. I hope I wasn't being attacked by somebody. I remember the first time I played PC Minecraft, I turned on super secret settings because I thought it'd be something super secret and cool. No, of course, it can't be too super secret because they tell you it's super secret, but. I was so mad at myself. Oh, my boat! Are you serious? And there's not a tree on this island. There's a shipwreck right here. We could take some wood from that. So I need a crafting table to make a boat. And I don't have enough wood. To make a boat. Well, fuck. Well, this sucks. I guess we'll swim for a little bit. What's that? Is that just sand? Or is that something? It almost looks like that would be. A, no, it's just sand. At first, I thought maybe it was just a chest sitting out here in the middle of the water. That would be pretty lame. I guess we'll just swim on out this way. I mean, we're so far out now, I don't want to just turn back and go the other way. The way we came. Feels like it'd be a waste. I'm sure we'll eventually come across an island, right? But then again, I'm not really entirely sure how far out he built this. For all we know, we're coming up on the edge. I don't see anything yet, but the sun rising. I'm watching the sun rise through the water, that has that's a unique experience right there. Oh my god, I think we're about to be at the edge. I think this is the edge of the map. I just want to see something underneath water underneath me. Yeah, that's deep. We're not swimming down there. Uh, I don't know. It's actually loading stuff in now. I hope there's an island out here. It's going to be a very sad episode if there isn't. It's going to be a long journey back for me off camera. No fishies or nothing. Come on now. Wait. This looks like it might be promising up here. It looks like it might be starting to raise up a little bit. Which would be good because that would, I would believe that would mean there's another island somewhere nearby. It's not as deep. So we'll keep our fingers crossed, I guess. It's not raising up dramatically. Come on. Load in now. Oh man, there better be an island up here with trees. Oh, 
And we still need sugar cane and melons for our farms. I want to finish all the farms before I start building the barn. Because I want to knock out the barn. The... I want to try to knock out the barn, the dock, and the lighthouse in one go. But for the lighthouse, I'm pretty sure we're going to need a light source inside of it. I don't want to just throw a torch in there. I want to see if we can find, like, maybe we would find some glowstone or a redstone lamp or something. I don't know. We've already got redstone. It's definitely getting higher down there. The sand's definitely getting up, raising up. But just really slowly, I'm really starting to wonder. I mean, this is obviously still stuff he builds. So, I mean, if he built this far out for the ocean floor, you'd have to imagine that he would have built an island too, right? See, I keep seeing little stuff like that to the right, right there in front of me, where it's just a couple blocks below it in. I get excited, think that might be a shipwreck. I mean, it's still raising up a little bit, so I mean... I'm really curious, though, of how he did this. I mean, even with an underwater... Even if he found a, a sea with this much water in it, to build that much underground or under the water I'm really starting to think we're not going to find a ship uh, an island out here guys I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and I'll bring it up if we find anything alright guys after swimming for what seems like forever and turning around I came across an island we ain't been to yet there's trees on it I don't see any shipwrecks. I just got here. Now I'm kind of curious about this. Is this? Is, yes, it is. It's a cave. And there's another wart in here. And redstone. Kind of want to take the spider web. I'm going to need the string. Um. Oh, I'm using a stone pickaxe. Damn it. Well, I guess we'll take the soul sand. I don't see any use for netherrack. But the soul sand will help us. I guess it's not too big of a deal if I don't get that redstone. I don't think I would have too much of a use for it. But I do want to find shipwrecks. And I'm not finding any. You know what else would be good? Some uh, sugar cane. We need that. All right. Hey, orange dye. So we just got another color of dye for our uh, stained clay. Let's see, this island doesn't seem to have a lot of anything either. Well, I guess we can at least fix our boat. Let's make us a crafting table quick. Actually, I want to go ahead and eat too. I'm getting hungry. Maybe me myself fish it. All right, now let's make our new boat. Now we at least have the option of leaving this island and going to another one without having to swim everywhere. Shut up, seagull. Let's see if I can see anything else that looks like it'd be an island out in the distance. Maybe out this way? Bring it back up, guys. We'll see if we can find anything good there and then we'll end it. Alright, we found an island. And look, melons. Now we can make the melon farm. We'll take this and this. Um, I don't know if we're gonna need brown mushrooms, but we'll take it. Oh, look, there's another little cave on this island. Oh, and there's bunnies. There are the bunny rabbits on this island. This is a big old island, too. 
The only bad thing is with all this running around I've done, I really don't know which direction's home no more after turning around and all that other shiznick. So we'll have to tackle that one. I'll tackle that one off camera. Lost at sea. No, I'm loster at sea. Alright, let's see what's up with this little cave here. That's something I really wish they would add to Stranded Deep too, is caves. There's TNT in here. And gold. See, I don't have an iron pickaxe, I got a stone pickaxe. And I need that gold. Because that'll knock out the golden apple. So we'll go ahead and make a crafting table real quick. And a furnace. So we can grab some iron. Because so I'd seen some. Uh, I need some wood. Well, there's more clay here, but I don't think I need more clay yet. Alright, let's come over here real quick, grab the iron, and we'll come over here and smelt this iron, some iron up. Grab the gold, and I think that'll be it for this episode. I'll find my way home off camera. I still don't see any shipwrecks. It's been disappointing. It's a few islands now in a row. Hell, just a, every island I've went to today, not a single shipwreck. And I went to an island off camera. But now we'll also have enough iron to make our anvil. I think. Because I think we only need one more piece of iron for it. I'm making a pickaxe. That's three. I just grabbed, what, four? Oh, well, definitely we'll have enough now. We'll definitely have enough now. Here's some more right here. Really wish some shipwrecks would pop up in this. To see some shipwrecks right now would be nice. And I understand a lot of work went into building this map. I mean, like I said, he's put a lot of you know detail into like the ocean floor with the sand and all that, and the islands. He's put detail into it, but stranded deep isn't stranded deep without shipwrecks. I've spent countless episodes just exploring shipwrecks. So I feel like he could have did a better job of putting shipwrecks on the islands, even if he just made a few of the smaller ones. They don't all have to be big. Oh, more iron. I almost walked right by it. Wait, is that a shipwreck over there? It actually looks like it could be. Yeah, that is a shipwreck. Okay, here I am bitching about no shipwrecks. And there's one right here on this island. Maybe I should keep my mouth shut. Stop complaining. Just give the map a chance, Alloy. Jeez. Oh, there's another island over here, looks like, too. And down I go. Wow, it's dark down here. This island has a shipwreck on it. That's iron. No, uh -oh, I'm about to drown. I'm about to drown. I'm about to drown. I'm about to drown. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm drowning! I'm drowning! I'm drowning! I'm drowning! And I'm drowning! Oh, holy shit! That was close. I'm gonna go check out this island over here. We'll check out this shipwreck and then we'll tackle that one in the next episode. <laughs> that was too close. Too close. Now I'm complaining I just did about shipwrecks. I just found two in a row. I feel like an asshole now. <laughs> I really should have took my boat with me on this little trip here. Oh well. I have fucking been here. Because there's a crafting table here. Crafting tables do not naturally generate. 
if I can take this boat. And I guess we'll try one more time for that one shipwreck. So slow. We'll do a little bit of a longer episode today than usual, just because of the fact that, you know, this is replacing Stranded Deep today. I feel like I should be able to get that shipwreck. What's going to suck though is because I've been to that island. I ain't been to that island. But what if I've been to the shipwreck? That would really, really be lame. I need to eat before I start this so I can be regening health. Okay, that was helpful. Yes. Now I don't really need to, need to mine the gold. I've got enough. I'll have enough gold now to make the golden apples. I mean. I'm kind of curious as to where the stairs will lead to. Diamond. Okay, up, 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 Maybe not. Maybe it is it. All right. Well, if you guys like this episode, make sure you hit that like button. I know we don't like not being able to play actual Strand of Deep, but that will be coming soon. Don't forget to tell me in the comments what you guys think and subscribe to see more awesome content like this. This is Unfixing Alloy 1, and I will see you guys next time.